What is cholesterol? Cholesterol is a waxy fat substance that's found in our bodies. It's actually found in every cell of our body and is needed for our, some of our bodily functions. Cholesterol is a natural product that is made in our own livers. However, when we have too much cholesterol on board, it becomes damaging and increases our risk for heart disease. Is all cholesterol bad? No, not all cholesterol is bad. In fact, the high-density lipoprotein cholesterol, or HDL cholesterol, is good cholesterol. The higher amounts of HDL cholesterol one has, the more protective they are against heart disease. In women, we like to see the HDL, or high-density lipoprotein cholesterol, greater than 60. And in men, we like to see the high-density lipoprotein greater than 45 to give them optimal protection against heart disease. HDL is thought to take the bad cholesterol from our arteries and take it to our liver to be excreted. So the higher the HDL cholesterol, the more protective we are. How can I raise my HDL? There are several ways to raise one's HDL. If you're smoking and you quit smoking, your HDL will raise. Another excellent way to raise one's HDL is by exercise. In fact, in patients that I see in the office, in the preventive cardiology clinic today, I can tell if they have not completed a regular exercise regimen just by comparing their HDL cholesterols from previous readings. One can raise their HDL cholesterol 10 to 20 points just by completing regular aerobic activity on a daily basis. We recommend 30 to 45 minutes of, a, of aerobic activity most days of the week, a minimum four days per week. What is LDL cholesterol? LDL cholesterol is the bad, one of the bad fats in our bodies, and it's low-density lipoprotein. If you have excess LDL cholesterol, then you're at increased risk of developing heart disease. How can I reduce my LDL? There are several ways to reduce one's LDL, through lifestyle modifications, through over-the-counter supplements, and through prescription medications. Lifestyle modifications one can make is by reducing the amount of saturated fats and trans fats in their diet. Saturated fats are fats from animal sources. Those are fats from meats and dairy products and cheeses. Additional ways to lower your saturated fat from dietary means is by reducing the amount of trans fats one consumes. Trans fats are now on all food labels, so please read the labels and look for trans fats. They're usually found in, in foods that come in packages, such as your, your Ho-Ho's, your Twinkies, your cookies, your um, crackers. So please look for trans fats and reduce the amount of, of trans fats as well as saturated fats in, in your diet. There are supplements that will assist with LDL reduction as well. One of the, the main supplements that I use in my practice to lower LDL cholesterol is Cardio T with polycosinol. I see, up to, I see at least 20% reduction in my LDL cholesterol and oftentimes over 20% reduction in LDL cholesterol in the patients that I treat. There is cardiosterols as well. That's taking two capsules twice a day with food to assist with lowering LDL cholesterol. I see up to about a 10% reduction in LDL cholesterol with this over-the-counter supplement. There are prescription medications that will assist in lowering LDL cholesterol. These consist of statins, which you may be familiar with some of the statin medications out there. There is also a cholesterol absorption inhibitor, such as Zetia, that will further lower cholesterol levels or LDL levels.